Hi, this is Myra with Boutique Paint. I'm working on some ornaments today. These are the new frames, Iron Orchid Design Mold here. These two are. This one is one I did a um, number of years ago. And this was, I think, the hardware, I want to say, um, mold, but I don't remember exactly. But the technique is the same. I just wanted to show you, you know, look at if you have some of the older molds, anything that's got some flat space, you can do this with. You don't have to just use um, the new ones, but the new ones are pretty fabulous. So I went ahead and did a couple resin uh, frames up. And if you have any questions on how to use the resin, I do have a video on my YouTube channel on how to use the resin. This is the um, quick set resin and it takes about 10 minutes to set up depending on temperature and whatnot and it dries white. I'm just going to paint this really quickly with crinoline, my go-to ivory um, from DIY Paint. And I'm going to paint the front and then I'm going to wait and let it dry and I'm going to go ahead and paint the back. And then we will start embellishing these little guys. These are just fun frames. I don't know if you've seen the artwork that some people are doing in them. It's just incredible. I don't know. My hand isn't that steady. <laughs> I'll give it a try though. I mean, you might as well try, huh? Because you have them. The reason why I did this in resin instead of um, DIY air dry clay is just because I felt like it would hold up over the years longer. So, but you could do it with clay. All right. We're going to let that dry and we'll be back. So I've got these all dry and the next step is I'm using a napkin and with napkins they come usually two ply so that means you need to peel the back off of the napkin. I've already done that with this and then you decide what do you want to use of this napkin. I think I want to use the deer. Well I think though I want more of the antlers. You just got to kind of feel where the placement will be. And then when you get it, that feels about right. Then just take your fingernail, or if you don't have a fingerna fingernails, you could take like the tip of a paintbrush. This one doesn't have much of a corner to it, but just very carefully go along here and make the line, the inside line of the frame. And then we'll take some scissors and carefully cut around where that line is. And when you cut in, be mindful of maybe other parts of the napkin you want to use maybe later for something else like this this corner might be cute for just an add-on um, you know where you could do a couple layers of decoupage on the frame you could use that to add on because you might as well get as much use out of it as you can so that's the first guy we're going to do the same thing with this. Let's see. I just want to use, yeah, I think I'm just going to use the greenery. I guess I could use the center of that. It doesn't have any red. So we're going to use the, this one. And I kind of like the, the lettering in that too. Oh, then we got the deer leg. That, does that look a little strange? <laughs> 
scoot it over. Hopefully my hand's not in your way and you can see what I'm doing here. You need pretty good scissors, scissors ugh, English, um, when you're doing this. And I don't know about you, and if you've watched any of my videos, you've heard me complain about my kids and what they use my scissors for. Still, as adults, they still are using my scissors for stuff they're not supposed to. And yet you tell them over and over again. Okay, set that aside. And then I'm going to use DIY's liquid patina. And we're going to paint the inside. And there's glitter on it. I've done one project, Christmas project, and there is glitter all over my studio. And I do mean all over my studio. One project. My uh, niece calls glitter the herpes of the craft world I think that's pretty funny so I keep threatening I'm gonna send her kids home with glitter on them she doesn't like glitter and I'm just gonna smooth sorry if I offended anybody with that I thought it was kind of funny um, just kind of push down and smooth you don't want to push um, smooth too hard with your finger you just want it to tack down there in the center. And on this one, you could use it that direction, or we could use it that direction. Got some options there. I'm going to cut that one a little short. See if I can. May not be able to pull that off. Pull it up. Put some more on there again. The oval one's a little trickier. Trying to get it centered. All right. There we go. And then we're going to take the liquid patina and we're going to go over the top. And I'm also going to go ahead and hit the paint with it and use this kind of as a top coat. Oh, and it got it a little gooey there, huh? I turn off the my filming when I'm dry, letting things dry for two reasons. It takes forever if you just let it dry, but I cheat and I use um, a hair dryer, <laughs> and I don't like I don't want you to have to sit there and listen to the hair dryer. You've seen paint dry, I'm pretty sure. So I don't think I need to demonstrate that. So we're going to set that down. Let's go to the next one. And don't forget to get the backs with this also. Matter of fact, you could do, you know, the tissue paper on the back, and that way it would be two sided. That'd be fun. I have a tradition with my kids that um, each year I give them an ornament I have since they were little um, so that when they were adults they would have a whole set of ornaments to start with and I put the year on it and I put their name on it and it, um, I tie it to their stocking. That's just kind of a fun little, fun little thing. So you could do that. You could put the year 
and their name on the back if you're giving it to somebody or you could use it you know then for a tag for a gift all right we'll blow dry those and finish them up all right now the fun part of well the whole thing's fun but of decorating them um i've got just some pieces of ribbon these i was going to use for the um part you hook onto the tree and i got bows oh, that one looks cute on there but first i'm going to um put a little bit of wax on this one i'm just using diy's clear wax and I put the liquid patina on there just for a coat, but um, then I wanted to darken it up a little bit. And I'm going to use the darkened decrepit or the um, decrepit dust on that to do it. And then this one I'm just going to leave alone. And that way you can see the difference of doing it with and doing it without. You could do it with the white also. Um, Especially if you did like a red paint on this, that would be awesome. I'm going to just take a little bit of the dust and just put it there. I'm going to take my dark wax brush and put a little bit on there. And then just kind of go in. And put it. in the crevices here. You can see the difference there. Just kind of gives it that antique feel. You could also put it on the uh, tissue paper if you want to give it an even funkier look. The other thing you could do before you um, put it onto the frame is you could take this piece of tissue and take the um, crackle stamp from Iron Orchid and uh, use I think I'd use stone gray and stamp it and then it would give it kind of a crackle look or you could put a crackle finish over the top and that would be way cool and then do a little bit of the dust on it that would look pretty awesome also so I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over I did paint the back oh, but I didn't put any wax on there so let's do a little bit of that Oh, that brush is going to have a little bit of the dark on it. Always having to wash those guys. That might give the overall feel the same the front and the back. And then I'm going to glue this. This stuff is so unravely. i make it a little shorter. And I think I'm going to put it on the front. I'm going to use my glue gun. If you store your ornaments in the attic, keep in mind that attic gets hot. And with some of the glue guns, if it's low heat, um, your stuff might melt off. So you want to use a little bit higher heat glue sticks and glue gun when you're doing ornaments. Because most of us, I don't, but most people do put their um, ornaments in the attic or their Christmas in the attic. All right. Um, that looks cute. So let's go ahead and do that one there. I found these napkins a couple of years ago um, that you can check out like the dollar store or um, like the por party stores. Um, where else did I see them? I just saw some someplace I didn't expect the other day, but they only had uh, fall ones out so far. So didn't want to do that on this one. I'm going to use this gold. And I'm going to tie it in a knot because this one I'm going to put on the back. Turn it 
hands a little bit. And a little dab of glue. I'm running out of glue with that one. And then just put your knot right in there. And this one you could just leave. Just like that. That is very pretty. Matter of fact, I think I am going to leave it. So once again, my phone turned off on me. Middle of filming. Anyway, if you have any questions about any of our products that we used in this video, you can look us up at www.boutiquepaint.com. And I thank you so much for joining me. Bye.